Are you ready for the backwards sit-up or the ab roll-down? A lot of people, when they try and do a sit-up, well, they can't. It, like, it hurts, they can't get up, they have to roll sideways, whatever, it hurts, there's a big problem. Or sometimes they just, they just can't sit up properly uh, or they have to use momentum to get up. And so one of the ways to train the abs in a nice way is to have your legs out straight, curve and arch all the way forwards, have your hands on your legs, keep your chin tucked to your chest, okay, and you roll backwards, keeping your abs tight, keeping your spine rolled in so you really flex forwards, and you roll down and you straighten out. Now, if you're in a bed, it's gonna be easier because the bed gives, but what you can also do to make it easier is put lots of pillows down, bolster things up so you're not going all the way down and so let's say you can't go all the way down so let's say you get to here and there's pain so you can either then put stuff down so you can't go all the way back or you get to where you start you know your legs start to come up or something starts to go wrong and then you come back up again so you can just go slowly backwards and forwards in the position that's the problem or you can roll back roll back, roll back, roll back, and then you go to where it's actually pain fine and free, and then you can relax, and then you can try and get up using your arms, and then you roll back under control again. And usually by the time you can do 10 roll downs in a row without any real problem, then you can actually start rolling back up from that position. And you can go all the way down, and all the way up. Okay, and once you can do 10 up and down in that position, that's then usually a sign that you can then start going down a little bit lower and try it again. So I hope you've got the idea. The idea is you keep your hands on your legs, you keep yourself tucked in and you just go back as far as you can, put lots of pillows and things down so you can relax and then come back up again. And once you can do 10 at one level, go down a bit lower. Hope that helps, let me know and if by doing that for a few weeks, you can then actually do a sit up without using momentum and getting any pain. Be well, be well, be well.